Hi, this is Tony Epler with a short tutorial about how to code in Java with NetBeans. The most important part of uh, an IDE is obviously the editor, and NetBeans has a very powerful editor, with very many features and very many tools to help you get up to speed. It has quick templates, code completion, syntax highlighting, it has refactorings, and so on. And it's very hard to remember all of these. So, in this short series of tutorials, I want to show you some of those uh, tricks and help you get up to speed when coding with NetBeans. So, the first thing I'll show you is how to use code completion. It's actually quite simple. You start typing and invoke code completion by the combination of the control and the space key. So, hit control and space, and a little window will show up. Um, with possible keywords, package names, class names, variables that you can use in the current context. And it will also show you uh, Javadoc. You can, um, you can move between the possible selections with the arrow keys and um, you can confirm your selection with the enter key. So you want to go on typing you can select something and NetBeans will even place the cursor in places where you would probably want to continue coding so let's say hello code completion But you cannot only use uh, the Enter key for confirming your selection. You can also use, for example, a period. And you're even faster continuing uh, your coding. So the first time you invoke, the um, code completion. Code completion will have a limited scope. That means it will only show you classes that you can reach directly without doing any imports, additional imports. But if you hit those keys again, you will see a longer list. And this longer list contains everything that is reachable on the class path. The implication of this is that now if you use code completion, for example, to use a print stream, NetBeans will automatically add an import statement for you. Another nice thing about code completion is that NetBeans guesses. So if you invoke code completion, NetBeans will offer you a couple of names that you would probably choose, like print stream, PS, or stream, and you can select whichever you like best. That's it for now. This is how code completion works in NetBeans. You will see more about uh, context-sensitive code completion in the next screen screencast. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and stay tuned for the next parts of this. Goodbye.